So we finally added custom matches, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys it along with how to use all the admin commands in it. But real quick, last video I said I was going to choose someone in the comments to give them a free kit. So I'm going to do that again. If you want a free kit, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username. So here's a random comment picker I found. I'm just going to press this button, and RubyChan2607 gets a free kit. So we're going to gift this. You want it, lol. Okay, gift. And there we go. So, the so custom matches are located right behind where you spawn. And then you can open the menu. Then you can select any game mode. So let's say I want to do trios. Then you can select the map for that game mode. So we've got 7-1-V-1 and 2-V-2 maps. 5 trios maps. Lucky Block is the same as trios. And 1 Christmas event map. You can't get the badge anymore from this. But you can still play it. But under trios, let's say we want to select milk and cookies. So when you click a map, it highlights the back to make it darker. So then you can just press create that says join a custom match on the side so i guess that'd be useful because in easy gt bed wars it does not tell you when it's joining a custom match but i guess you'd be able to tell like if someone joins a custom match instead of queuing then you get a four letter code and you want to type in and you can choose a team so let's say i want to go on blue team then we can start the match if you're alone the only way that you can win is by breaking another team's bed but it also only puts your kit skin on and does some other stuff when you start so you still look normal in the lobby but here are the commands so of course we've got slash spawn so if i wanted to spawn iron and the whole bunch of iron then it will say what you did on the side and then i have a lot of iron in my inventory then the owner of the custom match doesn't automatically have free cam but you can give yourself free cam and other people free cam just by typing slash free cam in the username so if i wanted to do free cam all then you can just press shift p i don't think we have mobile free cam yet but we might add a button for it soon because we have like nine slots already made for mobile buttons and we're only using maybe like two to four of them then you can also teleport players to each other so you can do slash teleport and then you put the player you want to teleport first and then the player you want to teleport to second so it looks like i am evan join so i can do teleport tell i am and then we're here so you can also do slash tp dot dot just means that's going to teleport you to them or you can say me but right now he has advantage advanced anonymous mode on which not only changes your avatar but it also changes your name completely it's only available to youtubers though because if you could make it look like you're a completely different person like anyone could do that then hackers would definitely do that and there'd be no way to tell because it's like really early to disguise and there's also a slash tp all so you can bring everyone to you and this is a really useful custom ash command that easy gg bedwars does not have this single-handedly makes our custom matches so much better. You can type slash get match code. And then it says the match code on the side. So it's AAE5. There's also slash set team to change someone's team. You can also just type slash team, but the first one will make you in team chat. So slash set team is better. Of course, there's also slash set health. So I can make my health like 10,000. Well, you have to put like the username of the player. So slash set health me 10,000 for that one. And then there's also slash give. So I can do give I am grass 10,000. And then it will say I gave him it. There is also the slash kick command so I'm not gonna test it on Evan because he'd be mad but I could do slash kick then the final command is slash set AC off well you can do on if you want to turn it back on but that just disables the anti-cheat oh it looks like he left but we also added confetti for if you win I didn't even know we added that I guess Evan just added that but those are all the commands for custom matches we're gonna add a lot more to it soon like we're probably gonna make well I know the best thing to do right now so that you know what I have to spawn would be making an item list in my discord server until we have a creative mode UI that you can just open it and see all the items but when we do that we're probably gonna make the items actually say the name on it and also a search easy gg bedwars just has a search in the icon for the items but they don't have like where it actually says the item name right below it so we're probably not gonna make the circles with the items as small but i also didn't really show this on a video yet there are some settings and i'm gonna show you guys the secret really really advanced streamer mode that you can't get unless you're a youtuber or an admin it's also available to ac 
mod, and it completely hides your name, so I'm pretty sure hackers can't even auto lobby with it, which is really, really OP. I don't know why Easy GG Bedwars didn't make something like this for the AC mods, because it would like completely hide them, so hackers can't just automatically leave, but maybe they don't want to fix all the hacks so that people that are friends with AC mods can get to the top of leaderboards more. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but that's really the only reason I can think of, unless if for some reason they have really bad scripters, even though they have like 20 developers. So basically under settings, of course, you can change the FOV, so you can make it up to 90. We were gonna make it 110, but then we thought that was way too OP because you can zoom out a lot, and you could basically just, I don't know, it would be really OP. Then you can also make it 40, which I don't know anyone that plays on 40. Actually, maybe one person, but it's just really can't see that much. I just play on the normal 70 because I'm used to Roblox in that way. If I turn it higher, if I'm like jumping, I might miscalculate the jumps because it just looks weird. Then anonymous mode, of course, you can turn it on, and then it says random numbers, but I have customized as well. You can buy the customized game pass for 199 Robux, but you can basically just choose numbers and an avatar, so you have to turn it on and off if you change anything in it, but if you reset, then you can be literally whoever you want. So right now, I am Kev because, well, I put Kev's name and customize. Then I can turn it off, reset again, and then I can be normal again. But then there is streamer mode private, which this is really just like the super advanced one. So I turn it on, and then I have a random username, and if I click, well, I'm not CKev anymore, but this just happens to be one of CKev's fans that, like, copied his avatar. But it basically just makes your avatar completely random, and your name random, so we're definitely gonna add more people to it soon. Actually, comment your username for this too. I'll choose 10 random people from the comments to be streamer mode avatars, so you might see AC mods or YouTubers using their avatars if you're hiding. So yeah, next video, I'll gift one random person the new kit, and 10 random people get to have their avatar as a streamer mode avatar. Well, actually, anonymous mode also makes you a completely random avatar, so as long as you don't have customize on, so you'll also see random people as your avatar, so that'd be pretty cool. But we're always gonna be adding new users to it, because eventually, if we just had like 10 or 20 people, then everyone could recognize when someone, especially if they're an AC mod is using that avatar, then they might get scared. But yeah, that's basically it for custom matches and everything else we added. There's also a new map, and there's something called high performance mode, which, keep in mind, this is not low performance. Low performance would be if your computer runs at low performance, and it would definitely make you lag more. So high performance, you can turn it on if your computer is good, and then it uses more of your computer's resources, but then it makes everything smooth. So if we build an insane amount when I have 500 in a normal match, turning on high performance makes my graphics card make a little bit more noise, but then I only get 300 ping. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to mention in an update, so subscribe with the notifications on, like the video, join my Discord server link in the description, do all the other stuff linked in the description, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.